Erythropoietic protoporphyria, or EPP, is a rare genetic disorder affecting 5,000 to 10,000 people worldwide. Due to a genetic defect, EPP patients have a deficiency in the enzyme ferrochelatase, vital for the production of heme. This causes the body to accumulate a phototoxic molecule known as protoporphyrin 9, or PP9, particularly in the skin and the liver. EPP causes incapacitating phototoxic reactions when patient's skin is exposed to visible light. The light reacts with PP9 molecules in the body, damaging blood vessels under the skin. The symptoms of phototoxic reactions vary. Most patients report intolerable pain or intense burning under the skin due to the tissue damage caused. Although initial symptoms can be invisible, some EPP patients will show a generalized swelling, edema of the body parts exposed to light and in other cases, generalized edema of the entire body. Phototoxic reactions can last for days and even weeks. Patient skin generally remains sensitive to any further light exposure, heat, air movement, such as fans, or pressure for several days after a reaction. During a reaction, skin will dry and over several days may crack or split. Repeated exposure results in scarring. For most patients, outdoor exposure presents the highest risk of phototoxic reactions, although artificial lights, including room lighting, surgical lights and computer screens, have all been reported to cause phototoxicity. Unique to EPP, patients experience a discomfort or burning sensation after brief light exposure, acting as a warning to avoid further light exposure, known as a prodromal symptom. EPP patients are forced to avoid light exposure or risk phototoxic burns. They often lead a nocturnal existence and wear photoprotective clothing to reduce the risk of phototoxic reactions and burns. EPP has a significant impact upon quality of life. Patients often report anxiety, frustration, anger and distress, impact upon personal relationships, social isolation and depression. The majority of patients have reported that EPP limits simple everyday activities and prevents them from leading a normal life. It is common for patients to experience a significant delay in diagnosis, with the average age at diagnosis ranging from 12 to 22 years, with many patients not diagnosed until much later in life. EPP can be diagnosed through biochemical testing to detect elevated levels of free PP9 in blood or DNA analysis to confirm the genetic error. To learn more about erythropoietic protoporphyria, visit epp.care.